Hey everybody, hope you are doing well. During quarantine, something that people have been doing a lot of, including myself, is video chatting, FaceTiming, texting, and making calls. And for good reason. Everyone is staying indoors, but they still want to remain in touch with their family and their friends. I myself have been doing a fair amount of calls, and it got me thinking about a video that I made a few years back about how to make free phone calls on iOS and Android without a carrier, like Verizon, AT&T, T-Mobile, or Sprint in the USA. Although Sprint is now a part of T-Mobile, I guess. In this video, I wanted to give you an updated version for 20 2020. So today I'll be showing you how to make free phone calls without a carrier again, but this time it will work on any iOS device, including iPod Touches and iPads running iPad OS, Mac OS, Windows, Android smartphones and tablets, and any web browser that can access Gmail or Google. So if that sounds exciting to you, be sure to like this video so that I know you are interested, and be sure to watch the guide all the way through to the end so you don't miss any of the information. Also, if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to my channel where I'm planning on uploading every Tuesday going forward, given that my schedule remains the same. Now, I've done a good amount of research on this topic this year, and I've tested a number of different services, and honestly, the best service I've found to make free phone calls on any of the platforms I mentioned before is Google Hangouts. As you can see, I have it here on my iPhone. Now, before any of you leave comments bashing me in the description, there are a few reasons for this. Honestly, the primary factor in my search was that I wanted something that would allow me to call real phone numbers, cell phones, landlines, you name it. Many of the voice over IP applications do not allow you to call real phone numbers, at least without paying a fee. Applications like FaceTime, for example, only allow you to call Apple to Apple devices using an iCloud account over FaceTime audio, but they do not allow you to call real phone phone numbers, at least without paying a fee. Many of the other prominent apps straight up charge you a fee if you want to call anyone who is not using the app as well, and so Google Hangouts was prime when I found out about its features. So what is Google Hangouts? A little bit about how it works. Google Hangouts allows you to call any number in the USA or Canada for free using their applications, which is really amazing. You also have a real dialer app that has access to your contacts, making it incredibly easy to place these calls not only to your contacts, but to any number available in the USA, Canada, or the entire world. If you are in the USA or Canada, you can route calls through the Hangouts app on your smartphone or iPhone using Wi-Fi or a data connection to save minutes or save additional charges that you may incur. Calls involving destinations outside of the USA and Canada are charged at a low rate and you can buy calling credits to make those calls, but assuming that you are here for the free phone calls, I'm gonna jump into that process. Now you do need to have a Google account for this to work. If you do not have a Google account, you can find the steps online. It only takes a second and once you have the account, you can make this work. Work. So I'm going to start with my iPhone. This method also works with iPad OS or an iPod Touch. I currently use the iPhone 10 as my daily driver and it's my primary device, so I thought it was a good spot to start. Now, if you're familiar with iOS, this process is going to be pretty straightforward. You'll need to download the Google Hangouts app from the App Store to begin. I did these steps in advance, so I'll put a screen recording on the screen for you, but once you have it downloaded, go ahead and open it up. You're going to see a button that says Get Started. Go ahead and click that and log in with your Google account from the steps before. Once this is done, you should see an interface with a few tabs at the bottom, and at the far right, you'll see a dialer tab. Go ahead and click this, and then click on the keypad icon, and you will see the numbers that will allow you to dial. So that's your dialer. You can plug in any number in here, and you will be able to call 100% free in the USA and Canada. Simple as that. To prove that it works, I'll test a test line number. I'm going to call the Google 411 number, and I'll put a clip on the screen showing you guys that it does work. So as you can see, it does work, and it is definitely a handy tool to have around. No charges incurred, and all of the calls just show up here right in the interface of the app. Now, as far as the caller ID that will show up when you call someone, it does show up as unknown. If you would like a phone number, you can link Google Hangouts with your Google Voice phone number. That requires Google Voice, and I'm not going to get into that in this video, but I can make a future video on that if you guys are interested. So if you are, leave your thoughts in the comments below. I can also make a video on how to route your calls and text through Google Hangouts 
shots for free. So let me know if you guys would enjoy that in the comments as well. So for now, moving on to the next platform. So next up we have the Android method. I'm gonna be using my Samsung Galaxy S3 for this, and this method should work on any Android smartphone or tablet that supports the Google Play Store. The process is similar to that of iOS. Just like an iOS to begin on your Android device, you're gonna to have to go ahead and open up the Google Play Store, and then you'll need to download both of the apps. So I have the two apps downloaded here on my device. The first is the Google Hangouts app, and the second is the Hangouts Dialer app. Go ahead and download both of these applications, and for each, just like on iOS, you will be prompted to log in using your Google account that we created earlier, so go ahead and do so. I've already done that beforehand. Unfortunately, the clips got lost, but I'm gonna go ahead and open up the application here. Now, the main difference between the Android version and the iOS version is that you will need to use the Dialer app to dial the numbers. It actually installs the little dial tab here in the application for phone calls, but the iOS version has this directly built into the app, so it's not a major difference. Honestly, it works the exact same way. You can go ahead and click in here and you can type in a phone number and then go ahead and call it just like on iOS, and it's as easy as that. Now the service and the rates are exactly the same as the iOS application, and the only part that may vary is the caller ID that shows up, but again, you can control that with Google Voice, so I believe it's the same as the iOS application, and I can do another video again on the numbers behind the caller ID if you guys would like that in the future. It works very, very well on Android, just like on iOS. So lastly and conveniently, I'm gonna move on to Mac OS. Now, this method will work with Mac OS or Windows, Linux, basically any operating system that supports a web browser, and I'll be walking you through the method using Mac OS. Now, this is an extremely simple process. It works in many web browsers, including Firefox, Safari, and Chrome, to name a few, and it's very, very versatile, works on many different platforms. First, you'll need to open the web browser and go to hangouts.google.com. Once the page loads, you will need to log in using your Google account that we created earlier in the video, so go ahead and do that. And once you're logged in, you will see a screen that has a few options. One of them should be phone call right here in the middle, as you can see for me. Once you click it, you should be able to type in any number allowing you to make the call just like you were able to via the iOS or Android application. Now, you can also do this in Gmail, which is convenient, but I just don't like the Gmail interface very much. It's a bit clunky compared to the dedicated site. I'll pop a screenshot up on the screen so you can see what it looks like. It all happens in the chat area of Gmail, which is definitely cool, but I prefer the dedicated site, honestly. Ultimately, the service and the rates are exactly the same as the iOS or Android versions of these, and the only part that may vary, like I said earlier, is the caller ID that shows up when you call using a web browser. Now, what I love about Google Hangouts is that it's so versatile, works on so many different platforms, and can save you money and minutes with free calls. It's a great service, and Google really did well here. It's often overlooked, honestly, because many of the other applications available out there are just marketed to a higher degree. But with its ability to be used in a web browser and the app on so many different platforms, it's always been one of the most available, convenient, and reliable services that we have at our disposal for keeping in touch anywhere, anytime, and with anyone. So kudos to you, Google. I really, really enjoy this service. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm planning to upload videos every Tuesday each week, and your support is greatly appreciated. I will have my profiles on social media in the description of the video if you'd like to see what I'm up to in the meantime, so definitely drop a follow, and as always, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next one.